Okay, so this is day one of my propane fired fire brick forge um, build. I took a barbecue grill, obviously, and I I scrapped the hood and all the internal components. Uh, basically, all I have left is the the tabletop and the base. I'm gonna go ahead and put my propane tank underneath it, like it had, like it was before, but. Uh, what I did, I have two different size fire brick. I have the uh, two inch by nine inch, and then the one by eight. And most of my fire, or most of my forge is built out of the one by eight. Um, and then I just used the two by nine as the cap. My angle iron is three inch by three inch angle iron. The bottom piece is 36 inches long so that I have room for a little bit of a work area. Um, that's gonna be the back of the forge on this end. I will be able to use that end if I wanted to work both ends of the forge at the same time, but this is gonna be the back end for most, most of the use um, front end here. Uh, my intention is to make a three burner forge and I've gotta do some research on how to either drill or cut my fire brick to plumb in my burners and I still have to build my burners right now I'm just getting the basic forge set up um, what I'm gonna do with my angle iron is I'm gonna run a piece between the two top pieces uh, between the two bottom pieces and then also on the sides front and back I'm gonna run um, some kind of bolt or something through where I can just tighten it up to hold it all together. Uh, I think it would stay together pretty well, but since this is gonna be portable where I can move it around my shop and around my work area out here, I wanna be able to ensure that it doesn't fall apart. And when I get my burners in place, I'll need to secure those as well. So anyways, that's what I've got done so far and the fire brick that I have left over I'll be able to close off uh, again this is six brick long and uh, that should be long enough well it's it's two feet long so that should be long enough to do any kind of long work that I want to do I'll be able to shut off shut off individual burners so if I wanted to have a burner going on each end or, or if I wanted to have um, just a middle burner going or just one end you know I can set this up in other ways and I'll probably cut some fire brick to fit inside of it so that if I want to say go in a foot and put in a temporary wall so that I can just heat up a, a short area of the forge instead of heating up the entire length I can do that as well um, but I want this to to serve me you know not only for small work but for long work and that's also why I went as wide and as tall as I did it's um, it's about seven inches wide on the inside and then probably I'd say seven inches tall actually I hadn't measured it but it looks square so seven by seven by 24 so that's a pretty good pretty good work area and then I like since I use this barbecue grill um, I like having that work area on each end where I can set tools I even kept the uh, the hangers that were on the barbecue grill so I can hang my tongs and and things on those and I'll probably eventually build a better cart um, but for right now you know just just getting this started up and uh, where I can use it this will be a good platform for it so that's all for today and as soon as I start building my burners I'll update this video